is part five of our conversation with a legendary singer, Kenny Loggins. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Street Music. Starting with Loggins and Messina, he posted hits with Jim Messina like Your Mama Don't Dance at number four. There was Thinking of You, My Music, Peace of Mind, Danny's Song. And then the solo hits came. Here's some of the top tens. Whenever You Call Me Friend, 1978. 1980's I'm Alright from Caddyshack. His number one song from Footloose, the title song, the movie, from 1984. Top Gun's Danger Zone, two years later. And Nobody's Fool from Caddyshack 2. Here's Kenny Loggins. When I was in high school, someone came up to me and said, Oh, uh, K- Kenny Loggins has joined the Doobie Brothers. I was going, no, he, no, no, he hasn't. <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah, he's, he's co-wrote this big hit. I said, well, yeah, well, I, I've heard it. Yes, for minute by minute, uh, what if Will believes. Uh, uh, I know you've told the story a million times, but how did that come to fruition? Well, um, when I first heard Living on a Fault Line, uh, I was blown away by Michael's material. And I really wanted to write with him. And that was early on in Loggins and Messina. And... Um, so it took a while to get to each other, but but the, what I heard was that Michael was looking to write with me and I was looking to write with him. So the managers arranged for us to write together at his house. And uh, I remember pulling up to his house. By then I had my own guitar and I'm getting my guitar out of the trunk and the front door to his house is open and I'm hearing him noodle on ideas and he's, Later on, I would find out that he was showing Maureen, his sister, some of his new ideas, you know, what trying to decide what he wanted to show me, probably. And as I'm walking up to the front door, I hear dun dun da 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 which of course I was by then I was a huge fan. And I was like, oh my God, that's a great riff. And then he's he's singing before I knock on the door, he's singing, Pop Trip Better Do Not Below, you know which sounds a lot like Michael's verse when he, and then suddenly he stops and my imagination kept going. And I heard what I thought he should have done next. So I knock on the door, I knock on the door and I say, we introduce each other. And I say, dude, play that thing again. I think I know how the next part goes. So that G D D D D D D is very much me. And so we just sort of, I like to say we were writing together before we met. That is crazy. Yeah. That's like a, just, that's your, a, your mind just picked up on it with the natural. Because dr- writing a song is like dreaming a song. You just sort of hear what you think it's going to be. As a man who's done this, this is your job. you got a great job. You love what you're doing. Are you able to see that you've, you've gotten there? You, 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 you. You, you had that, per, that, 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 uh, you, you yeah, I, I think that it really came into focus because of COVID because, oh. well, when you slow down and you, we don't have to race for airplanes and we don't have shows, then I'm, and I'm not making a record. Then there's time to sit back and, and it started, you know, early on in the COVID time, uh, I said to my girlfriend, I feel like I'm retired. I've been, I've been retired from my job. And then the questions come up, well, what do I do now? And, and it started to feel like I got really used to being retired during this year. I like not having to be in hotels mm-hmm. and racing for planes. And um, then I got to look and say, well, could I do that? Can I really retire? Can I financially retire? And can I emotionally retire? And I came to the awareness that I have to stay creative, but I don't necessarily have to be on the hamster wheel anymore. You know, I I have to be creative because I feel more alive when I'm in a creative place. Um, And the song that we'll talk about, uh, Great Adventure, that I did for the San Diego Zoo, that was a real rush for me because I'd been away from writing for a while. And and in in my mind, it's like, well, why should I write? There's no, I'm not going to make a record. Um, There's no, there's no call for a Kenny Loggins record out in the marketplace. So why knock myself out? Why do that? And so by pulling away from it, I began to get, oh, I should do something, whether it's just writing or writing for other people. 
I should do something because when I do that, I feel good. I remember who I am. And, um, and that's important. Um, so when we wrote Great Adventure together, and I did it with two young writers who won Academy Awards for um, their song, um, 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 Everything is Awesome for the, for the Lego movie. And they were the right writers to write that song with. And it was such a rush to write in their way of writing, which is instant, you know. They're building tracks while we're coming up with the song. And and it's so cool. And it's like, oh, let me put the drums down. Okay, let me, there's a bass line, boom. And it's like, this guy's a self-contained band. This is perfect for me. I want to write with these guys some more. Because you, whatever you come up with, you just make it right there. We'll have more from Kenny Loggins coming up in the next few days. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. Buy a t-shirt, help support the channel. If you don't want a t-shirt and you just want to support the channel, there's a PayPal link at the very top of the description of this video. I'm John Bowden. Take care of yourself.